In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to add an empty cell option to a drop down menu in Google Sheets. So let's get started and make a standard drop down menu. So I'm in cell A2 here. I'm going to right click, scroll down to data validation here. Then I will have list from a range and I've got a nice little list here. So I'm going to select this. So I'm going to click on select data range and then click sheets, docs, forms, slides, and I'll add in this empty space here, hoping that that will come into my drop down menu. Now I'll click OK. And uh, let's reject inputs here. We can add in some validation help and hit save. Okay, so when I open this, I expect to see uh, sheets, docs, forms, slides. Will I see the space here? Let's have a look. No, I don't have the option for an empty space at all. I've only got one of these options. So what can we do to simulate adding an empty space? In Google Sheets, you can use the apostrophe at the start of a cell to add in any sort of text. So if I added the apostrophe here, and now we have a look at our drop down menu, we can see that there's a little apostrophe down the bottom. So we probably don't want to see the apostrophe, but let's see what happens when I click it. Now that I've clicked the cell, you can't see the apostrophe at all. It's simulating an empty space. The apostrophe at the start of a cell is a guide to show that the next piece of data is going to be a set of text and it will hide that apostrophe. Okay, that's how you add an empty cell option to a drop down in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed the tutorial, click the like button and subscribe. If you're looking for a project-based course to get you from Google Sheets beginner to pro, check out the link to my course in the description below.